None of we just take responsibility. Blame daddy. None of we just take responsibility. Blame daddy. None of we just take responsibility. Blame daddy. None of we just take responsibility. Um, because I wrote a, a, a short spoken piece entitled Brain, whether it be things like crime and all these different stuff. But basically, Gas Poetry Project seeks to show these things within a, a, a three month period. Alright, so on to the second question. In pertaining to, to this clip, which is the clip you did, right? The clip you did was for the hour club. Ah, yeah. Can you give us an idea to what you mean by? None of us take responsibility, playing daddy. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people actually ask me like what well you didn't ask me what I was trying to achieve. Hey, yeah, that's found the piece to be very heavy. Which is strange because the only thing I was only really telling spoken with piece was none of us just take responsibility, blame daddy. You know, um what that was intended to depict basically was the the I guess in a sense a young man being unable to manage the struggles and the difficulties he has in life and obviously blaming his father for the mistakes and the difficulties that he faces in life. Like for example, in like a lot of these persons might not have you know, been brought up with I guess present fathers or fathers who really showed me love and stuff for them. Well that could be what happened. To the characters and the characters even behind him because every other other person behind him right and everybody said the same thing and so what i do even with glass poetry project is i tell people what i want them to know and anything else that they see and they interpret that is up to them so so far i have told you that basically he has a problem with his father blame daddy you understand and everybody behind him had plastic bags and he went directly behind him had a black plastic bag People didn't know whether that was actually intentional. The black plastic bag meant the darkness coming over me. I didn't have a plastic bag. I had a gun in my hand though. You understand? So that kind of showed that there was a generational kind of curse going around. And the darkness was coming to him. And he still being able to see is going to eventually become blind and welcome the darkness. And the, the gun basically symbolizes the crime that he is going to enter into and then he starts off and he's laughing he's showing he kind of transition from somebody who who uh, i guess was seen but doesn't know how to deal with issues and stuff in his life and you're seeing that you know all of that all right so it's a question in this present world what do you think is the responsibility of a father Ooh, in this present world what do i think is the responsibility of a father um, I, I, I think fathers, uh, they play an important role for Let me just say that, you know, they do have to, I guess, train up the child in a, in a manly way. Let me just explain what manly means. All right? It doesn't necessarily mean teaching them to play football. I say, hey, what do you manage to you know? But I mean, I think that there are just certain things that a father would understand about life that a mother wouldn't be able to grasp, right? And that isn't the take of anything from mothers. Mothers, you know, nurture children, and, you know, they will teach children certain things. But fathers kind of, you know, men have that kind of natural kind of go after, you know, see this kind of thing, take initiative and stuff. And I think a father can really teach a son that. And even teach a son how to respect a woman. You know, teach a son how to manage money, teach a son how to manage his finance, teach a son how to lead. You know, fathers ought to do his thing, and when fathers not doing that, mothers gonna teach them or they gonna from somewhere else, and that could result in kind of results in a lot of lost men. See? Uh, the question number four: In the present social climate of single parent homes, 
dropping marriage statistics? Do you think some men feel that they are reduced to sperm donors and for just financial support? You are the short question? Short answer? Yeah. Yes. 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 And you need to explain the short answer. <laughs> why, why do you feel that? Um, I, I think society in itself just tells men like, you know, this is really where you are. No, I don't know how many people are actually on social media, right? But this is a social media class I'm listening, right? So the thing is this. When you go on social media, 70% of the time you're going to see bashing man. Right? It is bashing man. So society has already kind of created that kind of expectation that men are trash. You know, you, you can't go around like this. You could walk down here and say men are trash, men are trash. And then why people say, you know, say women is trash, men are trash. Five. What more do you think politics and politicians can do to combat crime in Trinidad and Tobago? Um, hmm. That's a good question. What more do I think politicians, mm -hmm. politics, and poor politicians can do to combat crime in Trinidad and Tobago? I think politicians can start by being a good example. Right? Um, because politicians are both men and women. They're men. Right? So, for example, if it is you have the Minister of National Security, right, um, replying to a, a comment on Facebook about, I can't remember the intricacies of the conversation, right, but basically the way how he responded showed, it, it, it was very improper, it was very immature in my view, but when it is you have persons in high positions, you know, depicting that kind of immaturity and stuff, who are, who are the example of so men, you understand? So basically that is that that is one thing that they need to start doing actually become an example. When it is your prime minister telling women that hey, you just start choosing better men when you think as opposed to taking responsibility and say, listen, first of all, as a man, these things don't these things don't You understand? These things don't and I, I take responsibility for this. You understand? Because we need to be starting to train our men better. And perhaps ways that we can train our men better is by having like more, I guess more, more, uh, what do you call it, like focus groups or more groups or more sessions and stuff. And really helping men, you know, in jail, men in prisons, so the persons to actually know what is the role of a man. And reaching out to persons, you know, who are in broken homes and stuff, you know. But the reality is not everybody went through abuse, you know. But everybody had it like that. Some people just don't know what man it is because even their fathers didn't even understand what it meant to be a man, so they grew up and they don't know who they are. Yeah. All right, sixth and final question. Sixth and final, guys. Wow. If you were in a, if you were in a position to advise the prime minister on social issues facing the country, what ministry would you advise him to spend the most money and attention on? Why mm. that choice? Um, ministry of Education, right? Because it is through the Ministry of Education that many of the agendas and many, many, I don't want to say policies, right? I don't want to say policies. But it's really through the, the Ministry of Education that a lot of the information is going to be spread to the children, to the teenagers, the persons who study in the grades and stuff, right? Because they have a huge part to pay in, in the future of the country as well, right? So, I would think that a politician who realizes that a lot of men are dying, a lot of men are raping persons, you know, a lot of bad things happen to women from, you know, which is only men and stuff, he would seek to invest, you know, in men, in a sense, in the teaching, you know, in the taking care of, in the reaching out to men and stuff, in providing proper health care and a lot of different things in the ministry, churches and stuff. And that's so many different things you could do even with education because you need to in a society to become educated. Right? If it is you believe in a particular agenda, like we say like let's say hypothetically something you believe in your LGBT, QA, queer and so on, right? Then it really should be ministry of education at the education of the country. Right? That is gonna go to these schools. So if it is you see a problem and you want that problem solved, why not use the same thing to teach persons? And I believe because this generation has somewhat uh, become more immoral, maybe, as opposed to how it was perhaps in the 70s, 80s, 90s, the person was more open to speaking about God. You know, people who really had a fear for God again. Uh, so, bringing certain things back. 
you know, might um might I guess increase that fear of God. Not making people afraid of God in people understanding why it's important to respect them and why it's important to even I guess do what is right. You know? I hope that makes sense. Yeah.